in just five minutes, I was able to build a financial model like this, and I will show you how now. Let's start straight away. I am in ChatGPT 5 and I activate the thinking mode up left. That's really important. Really important is also the prompt. I always give context. Let's say that we are a CFO of a manufacturing company that we need to prepare a five year strategic plan with three scenarios. So what are the scenarios? First, the base scenario. The base scenario, we say that we have an increase of sales of 3% per year year, the margin will be constant and the cost increase by 2%. Then the second scenario, we are going to expand in the US. And the third scenario, a pessimistic one with a decrease of 2% of sales and also the margin will decrease by 1% and cost will also decrease only by 1%. And then I explained that I want to make this financial model with formulas, really important. And then really important to ask to have an assumption sheet. That's the sheet where you could change your parameters, which will influence your model. And then I will use my standard PNL. Here, this is the PNL for 2025. And I will feed ChatGPT with this PNL because this is the base of our model. And you could also feed the history if you prefer. But here we just need one year. So now I'm going to upload this PNL. If you are asking yourself if you can upload your data, well, you need a corporate license for this. Either ChatGPT Teams or Enterprise. Or if you are in Copilot or Gemini, also get an enterprise license like this. You are in a secure environment where they don't train the model on your data. Okay, so now I've uploaded the PNL. I have the thinking mode in ChatGPT 5, really important. And I'm going to launch this task to AI. So the thinking here will take a few minutes. For sake of this video, I'm not going to go through all of the three to five minutes together with you. So I've cut it some parts. Okay, the first minute, it read the file. Then second minute, it's calculating. Another two minutes to build the model. So we have here the explanation of which which model was built and all of the assumptions. And now I can click and look up right. I have the Excel file that I can open and let's look together and discover our financial model. So the first sheet is the PNL. Then the second one is the assumption. Let's see what are in the assumptions. We have all of the assumptions by scenario. So taking what I said and then after we have one sheet per scenario and look inside the formula bar. We have the formula. Everything is linked. Same for the US expansion scenario. Here, same for the pessimistic scenario. There is also a readme to document how was this file documented, but also how this file works. So for US, you can see that we have a formula that is taking some assumptions. So we have now 11.4 million in 2030. Let's see if I change the assumption, if we have an impact directly on the scenario. I will go to the assumptions sheet and I will change some assumptions in the US scenario. Let's change and let's be even more optimistic on the expansion and let's see the impact on our sales. So remember before we were at 11.4 million. Now after the change is everything linked? Yes, everything is linked and it works. This model is linked and now as a manager, as a reviewer, I will do the same than what I would have done with somebody in my team. I will take this file, I will test it, I will review it and I will make sure this file is good. I will review the work of AI. It's not because AI did it that everything is perfect. That's really important. The same than if somebody in your team did it. You need to peruse through the file to check the consistency of the file, to check that the formulas work. But this is amazing because it took five minutes. In five minutes, we were able to build a financial model that is working and where all of the formulas are linked with the assumptions. Do you think it's enough? It's not enough. I have a bonus for you because here, nobody wants to see boring tables in a presentation. So how can I go in a meeting to present this scenario? Let me show you what I've built right after that. So let's go back to our discussion with ChatGPT. And now I will activate the canvas mode. Really important. The canvas mode will allow us to create something. Let's see together what. And I'm asking now to build a dynamic slide deck. I want this slide deck to help me present the different scenarios based on the model we just built. So like this, we have consistency. Instead of having just an Excel file, we have a dynamic slide deck. And I want to be able to change the assumptions during my meeting. Because if my boss is asking, what if if we increase the sales in US? What if if we are stronger in the assumptions? What if if we are more pessimistic? I want this to be able to change during the meeting. So here, what is happening? Again, we have the thinking mode. And because I activated Canvas, ChatGPT is going to write for us the code to build a tool. Once ChatGPT has finished writing all of the code, let's see what we get. So now we see that ChatGPT built the scenario deck for five years. And now let's click preview to see 
how this looks like. Here is our deck. Here we have the assumptions and we have our three different scenarios. The US expansion, the pessimistic and the base scenario. I have first revenue, I have then gross margin and then I have the EBIT comparison. In my meeting, I also want to be able to change assumptions. So let's go back to the assumptions and let's imagine that I am much more aggressive for the last year, 2030, in the US. Does it impact my tool? Yes, we see the huge bump here in revenue. This deck is easy to understand. It has graph, but also I can change assumptions during my meeting. And this is a revolution because how long did it take me? It took me five minutes to build the model and another five minutes to build this tool. That means that in 10 minutes, I have a tool that works. I need maybe another 10, 20 minutes to review it. Like this in half an hour, I have prepared myself for one of the most strategic meeting I can have in the next hour with the management of my company. And I can assure you, this is how you are going to convince them that AI is helpful. Show this to your team and bring AI into your work. This is something that the members of the AI Friends Club were the first one to see. So if you want to join to also get the latest way on how you can use AI to help you with finance, then click in the button below. If you want to learn more on how to use ChatGPT, check my next video because I have also use cases on how to do financial analysis. I will see you in the next video.